Morning! We're going to get a lot of rain today, which is good. Crops need it, ground needs it. Um, but it's just going to restrict what we're able to do. So we might have to do a bit of mucking out, something like that, I think. Um, cars full of cardboard, because the kitchen is on its way in. Um, got a lot of the units in. Uh, a little bit later, I'll show you an update on that, hopefully. So, um, yeah, got to go to the tip a bit later. Get rid of this. Great fun. Right, first things first this morning, we'll jump on a TM. We'll get some cows fed. Um, Andy will be along shortly. Hopefully, 1.30 back this week, I don't know. Not heard anything, I'm just, just sort of hoping in myself. We probably ought to get this dropped off, because we're not going to be uh, mowing any grass anytime soon, but... Hmm. Well, I suppose it's not going to be doing else. Oh, else. Well, we'll get her started up. Here we go. So, I'm just in here feeding these. Andy will be in soon, drawing them up. These are the new guys, so they just get a little bit of feed. Just to get them onto the ration. And then when they've been here three or four weeks, or when they're sort of happy with the feed and able to eat a full meal will fill the troughs well the rain has started this is like it's like money falling from the sky this well needed because um, the wheat I'll take a bit up fill that here yeah hallelujah <laughs> basically I'm just following Andy now need to get them to them two troughs on the right hand side some more meal. See those are the beaters that rip the straw into the fan, break it down, and then obviously it gets blown out from there. Oh, it's gone blurry. Yeah, you won't want to get caught in there, let me tell you that. No, thank you. Well, the rain is coming down now. So Andy's getting sorted with a straw blower. It's coffee time! They are just treating some feet now, getting those jobs done. Well, right now, me and Andy are, well, I'm saying me and Andy, it's actually Andy doing it, um, rodding the drains. Because, yeah, I think this might be a bit bunged up again from the other day. So, um, yeah. Tell you what, Andy can put them in and I'll take them out, so I'll be the one that gets covered in the doo doo. My hands are already mucky anyway. Oh, so. right, I'll let you do it all then. <laughs> Tire man duties pumping up the tires on the discovery. Oh, who's this here in high visibility? It's the big mister. Andy's busy doing a mix. What are you doing here? So you are. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not literally like, but. Come for his present, hasn't he? That's what he's come for. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to have a big day tomorrow, aren't I? Why is that? Well, we're dad. Oh. Put yeah. my ass licking. <laughs> Being out screaming. Doing some shooting, some playing pigeon shooting. Yeah. Oh, very Becky have it, Bobby? 26, any time now. Waiting for that bing bing phone call. Rocky will go into the place same time as her, won't he? Oh, yeah, 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 he's gone away. Yeah. Yeah, um, uh, Connor, Connor's away. He's in, I don't know, Tenerife or something like that. Well, I'm doing. Alright. Oh, what just want to go? He knows. So here we have the present for the mister. <laughs> Business. Big Mick. Is it, is it mine or is it yours? Probably mine because mine. I've got a better name than you. <laughs> Are you not, can you have that in front of your wagon then? Front of, in front of the wagon. Front of car? <laughs> So if you see if you see a G, there's loads of people now that say I saw G, I saw a GXO wagon down south somewhere. I don't go that far. I know that's what I like. I'm like there's a lot of GXO wagons, but <laughs> now if you see a GXO wagon that's got that in front, you'll know it's the big mate. It's gonna go. I just gonna go see my mate Ian. Are you? Yeah. He'll like that then. I'll go this afternoon to see you. <laughs> Nice. Put some molasses in for Andy. 
Oh, he can't back it straight on. Straight up on the... To be honest, this is what I do. So you can't back it straight up under. No, it's a bit risky, that is. <laughs> oh, I need to turn clock round. So you go in there. Yeah, someone's got to go. Flying visit. Someone's got to go to work. Turn some coin. Oh, yeah. Got no. Right, I best go. Dilly dilly. Dilly dilly. See you, see you Saturday. Or are you in Whitby? Oh, All right. Bye! Right, it is really raining here now. Um, I've got to go and pull these troughs out and I was sort of panning the camera at that Watson trough because ideally if it did stop raining I'd like to have a bit of a measure up on these two troughs that we've got to the right hand side here and see if we can get the Watson in but weather's like this um, I think me and Andy are already went through we'd rather just do a bit from the machines for a while hopefully it might chill out a little bit later we're even getting wet in the cab today because it's raining that much thanks to Ben's uh, broken windscreen we don't really have to sort that out it's just yeah not really got ground to it at all oh and he's on just dropping the mowers off put it on him getting that job done and then we're just going to clean up this area here where the troughs were um yeah just to make it a bit easier for these guys to eat so I've just dropped the cardboard off at the tip, which is great, fantastic, our local tip, brilliant. Um, but I've just had the bad news that the kitchen fitters have gone to open the sink up and it's cracked in half. Like fully down the middle, smashed. So now I've got the process of trying to sort out the end replacement sink, which ain't going to come, is it, for a number of days. Um, Oh, what a nightmare. Anyway, it's out of my hands, isn't it? It's one of them things you can't control it. Just gotta, it'll come when it comes. But uh, I'm sure they'll sort it out. Here's a picture anyway. So me and Andy are getting plenty of muck out today. Tidying up the front of the pens. Me and Andy keep getting scared by his bird scarer. It's gonna go off any second, isn't it? There we go. Every time, every time it happens, we think that we've run into something or something like that. But anyway, we've been mucking these out and just getting the, the bits out now. So do you know, as I've got the broken sink, yeah. And then I've so I've rung them and they said, "Oh, just send us a picture and the order number and that jobs are good and really nice on the phone." Yeah, 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 yeah. Send them an email. No, it's been over three days, so. See you later. Days. Three days. Yeah. No money. No money back. No swapping it for a different one or nothing. Well, it's like a 14 day guarantee money back on everything. Human like purchasing rights. Well, you think so, wouldn't you? But not yeah. with QS supplies. Wow. Um, which so, I will, I think I'll put their email address on here or the website or something. QS supplies. Never, never buy anything from them because they don't look after the customers basically. So I've been stung for it. I don't want you to get stung for it. So. There we go. Yeah, the moral of the story is. Yeah, moral of the story is. Don't buy from them. Don't buy from them. Because <laughs> the, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Like, if I sold some merchandise and, like, two weeks down the line, somebody were like, well, there's this up with it. Yeah. I'd just be like, here you go. Yeah. So, so, sort like, the job you'd out. You'd rather know and sort it out. Yeah. Yeah. But obviously, not every company works that way, clearly. Not QS supplies, anyway. <laughs> So Andy's going to be taking this onto the whole crop land that we got the other day, the barley. Whole crop feed that we got, um, then we took off the land. We're now going to replace with the muck feed for the land to grow the next crop to feed the cow. Oh, it's a lovely, nice circle. Oh yeah, we've got to put a drop back. Andy's reminded me. I'm going off course talking to myself on the phone now i've got the door open to the shed we're going to start feeding some cows i was just laughing about your extra strong sink <laughs> you're asking me what it's made out of like, i have no idea i think it's some kind of like man-made yeah, kind of they call it granny but it's not is it, like, is it polystyrene it's proper is it strong like, though it's yeah. proper, proper strong you know, that stone effect with polystyrene <laughs> i painted it and glossed it over 
It must be. Oh, I can't wait to see this. I'd like to say though, I've, although I'm ripping this this company, um, the company that actually supplied the kitchen are fantastic DIY kitchens. They left me. Um, well, you'll see actually. I'll put the video in now. See what they left me. So a little kitchen update. We got a lot of the units in, but check this out. I think these guys definitely know me. You'll know in a second why. Are they having a laugh? A giraffe. Yorkshire tea. And it looks like we've had some flapjack came with it as well, but I'm guessing our kitchen fit has eaten them. Thanks, Bran. They would have been nice to have to tonight, but not happening. Yeah, that's a nice touch. Like that. So it's gonna uh, it's gonna look good, hopefully. I cleaned the front out in here, and these guys are chilling, maxing and relaxing, laid down, which is what we like to see. I laid down, chewing that cud, ruminating, converting that feed into beef. That's when, yeah, that's when they're converting that feed into beef. Like they're happy, they're there, they're chewing the cud. It's just what we want. Look at these, he's just got up. This one is like proper relaxed. That's what we like to see. I thought he we was chewing his cud, he's not. All right, the feeding's done. I can hear Andy's nine meter whining away somewhere, but we'll find him in a second. What? He's got the kitchen going in the lodges as well. You have? Yeah, well, so we're both having kitchens both this having week. Kitchens, yeah. I'm having two because I'm greedy. <laughs> <laughs> so does that mean they're going to be ready? Do you need painting then? No, they've done part of the painting. Bathrooms yeah. in? No, they'll be going in this week. Yeah. Bathrooms. Nice. Flooring's eh? going down next week. I think roof on next week. What, there's not been no roof on it? Not this rain? Yeah. No, it's, got, <laughs> it's got a waterproof membrane on it. Yeah, but like the fancy bits. Yeah, a nice roof will be on it. Oh nice, so yeah Andy will get us some video of that and then yeah, um, some, progress. some progress on his lodgers. Um, yes. Hopefully there's progress on my kitchen tonight so you'll see that maybe in tomorrow's video. Yeah. And hopefully there's progress with that QS supplies. Yeah. Hopefully. I've been talking to citizens advice and supposedly like I should be well within my rights to have it sorted out. Fingers crossed, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to buy another sink to get me so that the so that Bran can fit it on foot because obviously we're on a time scale here. Becky's about to pop, the baby's <laughs> going to be coming out anytime soon. She wants a sink because she wants to try and have a home birth if possible, so she wants a birthing pool. So if we don't have a sink and a tap, then you can't fill the birthing. Oh. So, like, everything's complicated, yeah. massively complicated and stressful. And it's just like, right, go, go, go get the school fix and just buy another sink. So anyway, that's my, my complications. If you've liked today's video, I've got any advice on SyncGate, um, please let me know in the comments. Press the like button, subscribe, all that sort of thing. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Go buy some merch so I can pay for another sink. That'd be fantastic. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Bye.